Hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube, Math Vibes. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we'll personally try to reply each of your comment. Please press the subscribe button and like and share our videos. Now moving on with our video, today in this video we are going to learn about multiplicative inverse. So let us firstly learn about what do you mean by multiplicative inverse. Well the definition of multiplicative inverse is multiplicative inverse of a number is a number which when multiplied by the original number results in 1. So that means that whenever I multiply this number by its multiplicative inverse, the result is going to be 1. And it is also called the reciprocal of a number. Okay, it is also called the reciprocal of a number. Let us take some examples of this. So firstly, if we want to see the multiplicative inverse of a fractional number, what now what are fractional numbers for this we already have made a video and it, it, it is available on our on our channel please go and watch the video if you are not clear about what are fractional numbers the link is also here above okay so let us see how do we find the multiplicative inverse of a fractional number now let us take the example of 1 by 4. If I want to find out the multiplicative inverse of this number 1 by 4, I will simply reverse it. Now you have already seen that what do you mean by inverse in the video about additive inverse. Okay, so same way. Now here in multiplicative inverse what we do is we will convert the numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator. Okay we will reverse it. We will find the reciprocal of it. So reciprocal means ulta kar do usko. Right. So numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator. So the multiplicative inverse of 1 by 4 will now be 4 over 1. That's it. Okay, next, now let us learn about the first property of multiplicative inverse. Its first property is that the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is always 1. Okay, the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is always 1. Now, if we take some example of it, then if I want to find the multiplicative inverse of 5, then it is 5 over 1. How? We know that 5 can be written as 5 over 1. Okay, 5 can be written as 5 over 1. And multiplicative inverse is that we have to find the reciprocal of this. Reciprocal of multiplication and the reverse of multiplication is division. Okay, so 5 over 1 can be written as 1 over 1. 5 the numerator will become denominator and the denominator will become numerator okay now if we want to check this property that the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is 1 then let's check it okay let us check it and how will we do that so the product of 5 and 1 by 5 so if we want to find its product you will see that while finding its product, I can cancel this 5 1s are 5 and the answer is 1. And this was a this was a property that the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is always 1. Right? So moving on, let's see the next property. The next property says that the multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1. The multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1. For example, if I want to find out its multiplicative inverse, then 1 can be written as 1 upon 1. Okay, we can write any natural number or any whole number over 1. Okay, with the denominator 1. It will result out to be the same. So, 1 over 1, even if I reverse reverse it, okay, even if I convert numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator, the answer is going to be 
1. Okay, so that is why the multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1. Now let us look at the third property. The third property says that the multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist. The multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist. That means there is no number with which we can multiply 0 and the answer is 1. Okay. Because we know that 0 is a number which when multiplied by any number will give the answer 0. Okay. If I multiply any number with 0 even if it is 1 or if it is 1 crore. And if I multiply it by 0, the answer is going to be, every time it is going to be 0. It can never be 1. So if it is never 1, then that means multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist because by any number, whatever number I feel here, if I want to multiply it by 0 and I want that the answer should be 1, then it is not possible. Right? Then it is never ever possible. Okay? So that is why we say, that is why we say that the multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist because something multiplied by 0 is equal to 1 will never exist for any number. Okay. So the fourth property moving on. The fourth property is the multiplicative inverse of a unit fraction. Now what is a unit fraction? We will soon upload a video about the type of fractions also. Okay. So unit fraction or is a fraction whose numerator is 1. Unit fraction is a fraction whose numerator is 1. So the multiplicative inverse of a unit fraction is always a whole number. Let us look at it with an example. If I want to take, if I will take this multiplicative inverse of 1 by 5. Now 1 by 5 the numerator is 1. Okay, here the numerator is 1. So, if I will reverse it, it will become 5 over 1. 5 over 1 can be written as 5, which is a whole number, okay, or a natural number, right? So, 5. So, the multiplicative inverse of a unit fraction is always a whole number. The fifth property says that the multiplicative inverse of a whole number is always a unit fraction. If I want to find out the multiplicative inverse of any number, let us take 6, okay? And if I want to find out its multiplicative inverse, then we know that 6 can always be written as, 6 can always be written as 6 over 1. So 6 over 1. So it multiplicative inverse is, now reverse it. Then make the numerator the denominator and denominator the numerator. Okay, how to find multiplicative inverse? Denominator ko numerator bana do or numerator ko denominator bana do. Matlab 1 will come in the numerator's place. 1 numerator ki jaga pe aajayega and 6 will come in the denominator place. Okay, 6 niche aajayega. So it will become 1 over 6. And we know very well that when 1 is there in numerator, then this is always a unit fraction. Unit means 1. The word unit only, it means 1. Okay, the word unit means 1. Okay, so the multiplicative inverse of a whole number is always a unit fraction. Okay, next... Let's find out the multiplicative inverse of a mixed fraction. Okay, multiplicative inverse of a mixed fraction. Now, let us take the example of the fraction 4 is to 1 by 3. Now, 4 is to 1 by 3. If I want to solve it, then how will I do that? 4 into 1 by 3. How will I do that? Firstly, we will multiply 4 by 3. Okay, we will multiply it. Whatever answer will come, that answer we will add to the numerator. So, 4 threes are 12. Okay, and 12 plus 1, 12 plus 1 means 13. So, the answer is 13 over 3. And please note here that here the denominator remains the same. Okay, when we are converting a mixed fraction to an improper fraction, the denominator remains same and the numerator is this. When you multiply this 4 by 3 
and the answer you add to the numerator so it is 13 over 3 so if you want to find out the multiplicative inverse of this type of fraction so firstly you have to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction okay and after you have converted it into an improper fraction then you will do the same thing to find out the multiplicative inverse which you were doing earlier what were you doing you were converting the numerator into denominator and the denominator into numerator okay numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator so the answer of this will become now 3 over 13 okay its answer will now become 3 over 13 kaise aaya see pehle hume mix fraction di hui thi na fir mix fraction ko humne convert kiya improper fraction mein okay improper fraction mein kaise convert kiya jo side mein number hai usko denominator se multiply karo okay jitna answer aaya usme upar wale number ko add kar do okay so yahan pe side pe tha 4 denominator mein tha 3 so 4 3 is a 12 12 answer आया ना उसको numerator में add कर दो numerator में क्या है 1 so 12 plus 1 is 13 so the answer now is 13 over 3 अब अगर इसको multiplicative inverse निकालना है multiplicative inverse का मतलब है reciprocal निकालना है reciprocal का मतलब है उसको उल्टा कर दो मतलब जो numerator में है उसको denominator में ले आओ और जो denominator में है उसको numerator में ले आओ तो इसको reverse करोगे तो क्या बन जाएगा 3 by 13 तो 3 by 13 क्या हुआ हमारा 3 by 13 will be called the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal. Okay. I hope it is clear till now. Is it clear? Tell me in the comment section below. And also message me in the comment section that on which topic you want to see more videos. Okay. I will be waiting for your comments. So there are certain points which you have to note. Okay. First point is. When you will you are finding multiplicative inverse and if a number is greater than 1. Okay. If a number is greater than 1 then its multiplicative inverse is less than 1. And if a number is less than 1 then its multiplicative inverse will be greater than 1. Okay. Let's try. Let's try it with some examples. Okay. Now let us suppose that I take a number see here first is written if a number is greater than 1 let us suppose that the number I take greater than 1 is uh, 16 okay now when I will find its multiplicative inverse then its multiplicative inverse will be 16 firstly the number is 16 so 16 over 1 reverse will be 1 over 16 and we know that 1 by 16 is a unit fraction fraction is always less right than this complete number so it is coming out to be less you can take any other example and you can check that if the number is greater than 1 then its multiplicative inverse will always be less than 1 now let us check the second point that if a number is less than 1 then let us see if its multiplicative inverse will be greater than 1 or not now suppose the number which is less than 1 let us take it as half okay 0.5 1 by 2 1 by 2 also means 0.5 right and if I want to find its multiplicative inverse it will be 2 right now 2 is a whole number 1 by 2 is a fraction and a whole number or a complete number is always greater than a fraction right so you have to when you are doing the sums these two points you have to keep in mind okay these are very important points which you should keep in your mind okay so uh, yes for sure if you like our videos don't forget to click on the subscribe button okay do like our channel on youtube which is math vibes do share it with your friends and family and keep on showering your love and support to us thank you bye bye